Newton Raphson is a so much swifter way to approximate the root of a nonlinear equation. Learn more about it in this video. Welcome to Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. newton raphson method is more known as Newton's method. This uses the open method of determining the root of an equation, but still assumes that the curve will be passing through the x-axis. There is a simple algorithm in using this procedure, which starts with learning to differentiate the equation. There should still be an initial value of x to be assumed, but Newton's method would not require a range. The next value of x will be computed using calculus and it would still utilize iteration. The derivation of the approximate in this procedure uses the idea of taking the tangent line of the assumed values. In the case of the curve shown, say we identify an initial value of x with the coordinates of x0 for the x distance and f of x0 for its vertical distance from the axis. Take the tangent line of the curve with this point, which would extend to intersect x-axis again. And this is taken as x sub 1. Now how to solve for x sub 1? Knowing that the tangent of theta can be taken as the vertical height with the horizontal distance, which is also denoted as a slope, stating it is rise all over run. Note that the slope is denoted as the gradient of the point included, or it is the differential of x0. Thus, f prime of x0 is equal to the rise of the function of x0 all over x0 minus x sub 1. By manipulating the terms, we would get x sub 1 is equal to x0 less function of x0 all over f prime of x0, which can then be the formula used to find the value of the succeeding values of x. Again, in Newton's method, the differentiation is required. Try this example. Use Newton's method to solve for the root of x cubed less x is equal to 1. The function of x is taken as x cubed minus x minus 1. So we can start by checking the probable values for the roots. Say we try x is equal to 1. The function of x turns out to be negative 1. Try another value such as x is equal to 2. And the function yields positive 5. Since there is a change of signs in the values, we are sure that the root is between 1 and 2. So we can continue to differentiate the function. The differential of x cubed is 3x squared, and x becomes 1. Between the value range, we can start with x0 as 2, or you can also work with the lower value 1. The function of x0 is taken as positive 5 as computed earlier, and f prime of 2 is positive 11. Use these values in the formula, and that is 2 less 5 all over 11, giving the value of 1.545454. Place the values in a table to avoid getting confused later on. Zero iteration uses x as 2. With the corresponding function of x and f prime of x values. Then, we also determine the value for x sub 1. Plug the value of x sub 1 into the two functions, and function of x would reflect positive 1.145752, whereby the value of its differential gives positive 6.165284. Use these values to identify the next value of x, and that is 1.359615. This is x sub 2. Now let's use x sub 2, which is equal to 1.359615, into the two functions again. The function of x sub 2 becomes positive 
3705 and that of f prime of x sub 2 gives positive 4.545659. Plug the new values in the formula to come up with positive 1.325801. We continue with the third iteration using x sub 3 as 1.325801. The function of x becomes 0 0.004623, and f prime of x sub 3 is taken as positive 4.273245. These values will also be used in the formula to show 1.324719. Next, move on to the next iteration that is used x sub 4 of 1.324719 into the two functions. f of x sub 4 becomes 4.45 times 10 raised to the negative 6, and f prime of x is still positive 4.264641. The next value of x, that is x sub 5, is then computed as 1.324718. Let's continue and iterate another by using x sub 5, which is 1.324718. The function of x is computed as 1.82 times 10 raised to negative 7, and the differential value is still positive 4.264633. Use these values into the formula once more, and x sub 6 is computed as 1.324718. In this case, x sub 5 and x sub 6 provide the same value up to the 6th decimal, so we can conclude that the approximate root of x is 1.324718. Take this next example. Use Newton's method to solve for the root of cosine x is equal to 2x to 5 decimal places. This one specifies the number of iteration to be used. So let's convert the equation to f of x equal to 0. Assume values to gauge on the range of numbers to use. Say x is 0. Then the function is positive 1. If x is taken as 1, then the function shows negative 1.459697. And again, the change of signs will mean that the root is within the range of 0 and 1. So, differentiate the function and it will result to negative sine x minus 2. This time, we start with the lower limit or 0. Plug 0 to both functions and yield positive 1 for the function of x and negative 2 for f prime of x. Use the values into the formula that would show 0 minus 1 all over negative 2, which is computed as 0 0.5. To clearly identify values, especially with long decimals, it is recommended to tabulate. In this way, we can see clearly that the first iteration will be using 0 0.5 for x sub 1. Now using x sub 1 of 0 0.5 into the two functions, f of x is computed as negative 0 0.122417, and f prime of x is taken as negative 2.479426. These values will be used to find x sub 3, which would turn out to be 0 0.450627. Take the next iteration by using x sub 2, which is 0 0.450627, into the two functions. The results show negative 0 0.001080 for function of x sub 2 f prime of x sub 2 shows negative 2.435530. Again, plug these values into the equation and get 0 0.450184. This is x sub 3. Now we can see that we have three decimal places in order. Then work on another iteration for the other decimal places. Using x sub 3 into the two functions, we get negative 9.47 times 10 raised to negative 7 for f of x. 
negative 2.435131 for f prime of x sub 3. Then using these values into the formula, we get 0 0.450184, which is exactly the same value of x sub 3. Thus, we can end the iteration as it is also rich not just five decimal places but even six. The approximate truth of x is 0 0.450184.